In the 1980s, string theory burst onto the scene with a bold promise, a single elegant framework to unify all the forces of nature, gravity, quantum mechanics, and every fundamental particle. According to the theory, each particle isn't a point, but a tiny vibrating string. Different vibrations, different particles. A beautiful idea, but there's a problem. Actually, quite a few. First, it demands 10 or even 11 dimensions, while we experience just four. And worse, it hasn't produced a single testable prediction we can confirm with experiments. We were hoping the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, the most powerful particle accelerator in the world, would help. If string theory was right, we might have seen evidence of supersymmetric particles, new kinds of particles predicted by the theory. But nothing. The data came in. No supersymmetry, no extra dimensions, no stringy signatures. And then there's dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating the expansion of the universe. String theory doesn't explain it. Not convincingly, not yet. After decades of work, the theory still hasn't passed a single experimental test. No verifiable results, no confirmed predictions. String theory may be mathematically brilliant, but physics isn't poetry. Without experimental proof, it's not science. It's speculation wrapped in equations.